everybody. Let's talk about mediumship, what it is and how it's done, right? We have heard many things about mediumship. Um, people get communications from their loved ones in various ways. We get messages from the spirit realm, from guardian angels, our spirit guides, right? So let's let's talk about this. Let's let's go in a little bit deeper. So let me know that you're here. Say hello, because um, uh, I'm going to record this and I'm going to share this later on as well on my YouTube channel, um, so that other people can access it as well. I think it's I think it's a topic that really needs to be talked about. There are many groups on Facebook that uh, do. Uh, uh, psychic readings and mediumship readings and I think sometimes people get confused uh, about a psychic reading saying that it's a mediumship reading and a mediumship reading is a psychic reading and oh my goodness all sorts of things are out there so let's get down to the nitty-gritty um, and first of all let's talk about the history of mediumship hi Margaret hi Ron nice to have you here the history of mediumship, oh my goodness gracious, uh, let's face it, as, as long as man has been upon this earth, uh, they have always been aware of uh, more than uh, what's going on around them physically, yes? Uh, you know, the, the caveman and the primitive man uh, mm -hmm. always have had rituals of this knowing of that something was beyond their own physical presence here upon this earth, right? Hi, Lori. Hi, Brenda. So glad that you could join me. So um, I did a little research uh, to make sure I had my facts correct. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the history of mediumship. And so, uh, again, humans have attempted for since the dawn of man to uh, contact spirits, um, the shamans, uh, those that are called witch doctors, uh, traditionally contacted spirits. So different cultures, right? Different cultures have come up with their own unique ways to contact spirits. Uh, there's the oracles of ancient Greece. Hi, Allison. Uh, hi, Brenda. Uh, and um, they were consulted for advice. They were called the oracles, okay? Uh, we would call them, um, you know, uh, mediums and psychics. But back in ancient Greece, they called them the oracles. Um, there is another term that was used for mediumship, which was necromancy. Okay, if you saw the Lord of the Rings, they use that term. I was like, what the heck is that? So necromancy uh, was a very common term as well. In the 18th century, uh, Europe's Swedish scientist Emanuel Swedenborg uh, created controversy and accu accusations of heresy when he rejected the orthodox theology in favor of his own visions, okay? He believed that spirits could actively help people and that mediumship proved the existence of life after death. So Swedenborg was a respected inventor and scientist, but at the age of 56, he entered into a spiritual phase in which he experienced dreams and visions this culminated in a spiritual awakening, and he claimed that his eyes had been open so that from then on he could talk freely with angels uh, and, and demons <laughs> and other spirits in the afterlife. So mediumship, however, uh, you know, has not gained popularity, of course, um, until the spiritualist movement in the mid 19th century and the birth of modern spiritualism is often traced back to the experiences of the fox sisters in 1848 and when these two young girls claim to have made contact with the spirit of a murdered peddler in the new york state home so these girls the fox sisters would regularly hold seances okay um, and the popularity of contacting the other side spread like wildfire throughout the united states and other parts 
of Europe. So the Fox sisters, just very briefly, there was a young lady. Um, I don't know how they got into it, but they were talking about things and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden they started hearing these rappings on the wall. And they're like, what the heck is that? And so they, they, they came to realize that it was more than just perhaps maybe a mouse behind the wall or a rat or something, that something intelligent was behind these knockings on the wall. So they actually got to a point where they communicated and